Hello, welcome to week 13. I must ask you to do a few things this week. Actually, no, there's not really much specifically that you need to do. Hopefully by now, you're getting into the rhythm of things where you're feeling pretty comfortable. We're almost done. We're almost done. So it is week 13. So we have this week. We have next week, week 14, which is pretty much when we're starting on our final project. And then we have week 15, which isn't a full week. I think it's either two or three days. So next week, we're pretty much just working on your final project. And then we're almost done with this thing. So a few things. We'll just walk through what's happening this week. So um, this week, we're going to be focusing on point of view. So whether you're telling your story or your poem or screenplay, whatever it is that you want to work on in first person using pronouns that refer to me, I, myself, or in the plural, we, our, whether you're going to do something in second person, which is really rare in creative writing and fiction, where you address you or your or y'all, things like that, or whether you're doing third person using pronouns like he, she, it, them, they, names, things like that. So we're going to be focusing on which one of those we feel the most comfortable with as it pertains to a particular story. So make sure that you're reading On Writing by Stephen King as well. Uh, the best writers are readers. Keep that in mind. The best writers are readers. If you don't have time to read, you don't have time to be a writer. And then there's a short story, one of my favorites. It's by Ursula K. Le Guin. It's called The Ones Who Walk Away from Amalas. It's going to blow your brain whole. So it's kind of a thought experiment. And I, uh, if you want to chime in, on some of your works as to what you would do in this situation. It's crazy. Or if you want to drop in on Google Hangouts, you can do that too if you want to discuss it. It's totally bizarre. So as you're reading the story, I want you to pay attention to Le Guin's philosophical underpinnings and moral dilemmas to drive the conflict of the story. And, and think about how you can do that as well. What are the philosophical or maybe theological underpinnings that you have in your life and how can you attach those to your writing to give it some sort of depth? Okay, uh, so explore this link, complete guide to different types of point of view. That'll give you a, a deeper understanding of first person, second person, third person, and different types of third person, whether it's third person limited, third person omniscient, things like that. Okay, and then what you're going to do for week 13, you're going to go find something you've written. I don't care what it is. It can be specifically for this class or it can be something else. And in a minimum of 250 words, I want you to rewrite your composition, but change the point of view. Meaning, if you wrote a poem in third person omniscient, make it first person or vice versa. So if you wrote a first person short story, change it up by making it third person. And if you're still confused about what I mean by first person and third person, this is going to help you out, the complete guide. Uh, and if you're still stuck, make sure you drop in on uh, Google Hangouts during my office hours between 12 and 2, Monday through Friday, and I can help you out even more. Uh, make sure that you attach the original composition so I can see the transition into a new type of point of view. So you don't have to like rewrite it or copy and paste the whole thing. If you just want to take a picture and attach it, I'm more than fine with that. And so then at the end of your new writing in 50 words or more, I want you to reflect on how the point of view uh, shift, how it changed the tone and feel from the original composition. So how did the piece change once you shifted from first person to third person or third person to first person? And then tell me which one that you prefer for that piece and why. Okay. In the same way, you've got to make that submission. You got to have an encouraging or constructive comment on another peer's post. And that's what's happening this week. So uh, knock this week out, enjoy it, have fun, especially with that short story and then rewriting one of the things that you've done before. And uh, what else was I going to say? Getting ready for that final project we'll start working on next week. So some of you have been emailing me just kind of panicked about different things that have been going on. I know that some of you in this class have been directly affected by COVID-19, which is, it's, it's just, it stinks. It's so awful uh, what's happening to so many people right now. Uh, but all that to say, I know that times are crazy. I know that times are crazy. So you don't have to write me this like panicked email about how you had to submit at 12.06 or you had to submit, you know, on 
Monday morning. Or it, it's okay. It's all right. Okay. So even look back at past assignments. If you have zeros, just submit them. Okay. I'm going to be completely gracious and understanding with what's going on. This is a wild time. I'm saying this every video I send y'all. I know that times are crazy. Just submit stuff. Okay. We got to get through this week, next week, and then I think two or three more days after that for the final week. Okay. Let's just get through this together. We can do it. I am on your side. So just submit. I can't give you points if you don't submit stuff. Just submit, submit, submit. Okay. Hang in there. Keep reading. Keep writing. Um, if you want to hop in for office hours, make sure that you're looking at some of the posts from previous weeks, specifically from April 9th. You can look at this file that will show you how to contact me on Google Hangouts. Once you download the app, you have to add me as a contact with this email address, scott.heaton at my.tccd.edu. If you're still confused, watch this video and that'll help you out even more, okay? So I will check back in with everyone on Thursday for some encouragement and a few more steps if there's a lot of questions that are going on. Going on. Here's my daughter. I don't know if you can hear her. She's in there playing Animal Crossing. You're playing Animal Crossing? You should. All right. Lots of Tiger King. Lots of Animal Crossing. <laughs> All right. Y'all are wonderful humans. See you on Thursday.